Newguys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana, and welcome to finally some good news. And I'm talking about some good news. We're here at CCA State Headquarters, and Mr. Red Thrasher got some good news for us, somebody. Good news. Lot, lots to do in the next couple of weeks, but star is starting on time. May 23rd, Saturday Memorial Day weekend, the board has said, let's, let's get down to the coast, support the businesses uh, that give us access to what we like. So... Let's give them incentive, and how about a half a million dollars in prizes? And uh, we're about two weeks away from opening up on the 15th down here in Louisiana, and people are opening up all over, uh, being careful. We being careful, I, I chose not to use my mask. Rad told me he didn't understand me without the mask, so we safe, six foot apart. You want to measure this? I'm sure we measure can. Way we measure I kind of like this. This might be a going on for in the future. I kind of like him at a safe distance, you know? Stay tuned. We got the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fish Report, which is short, but it's good. Watch the Paradise of Week. Why choose barbecue, guys? Because this is barbecue, guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top-notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract a driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. It's that time of year, CCA Star Tournament time. We might have a star winner, folks. Don't miss your chance for more categories, more prizes, and more smiles. Young and old, there's a division for everyone. You can win a truck, RV, boat, and much more. Sign up today for a chance to become an early bird winner. The fun starts Memorial Day weekend. Visit CCA Star to get your ticket today. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. CCA Star, how yep. many years been going on? Let's tell me what's coming up this year, Mr. Uh, Rath. 26 year. This will be the 26th year of competition. Look, you know, we, we met last week with the board and said, here's the facts. Everybody's fishing. And the best part is the fish are biting. And so um, we decided to move on with the tournament um, and do it as planned. So May 23rd, it will all begin. There'll be 100 tag redfish in, in the water, but uh, I can tell you, you, be on the lookout for me and a lot of our volunteers because we've got three weeks to get them all tagged and in, in the water. But uh, we will make it, get it done and uh, look forward to having Star go on as planned. Before we talk about the Star in particular, all these conservation groups, see, CCA, you know, we're talking about uh, all the Ducks Unlimited, Delta Waterfowl, Wild Turkey Federation. Everybody. Every way you look, all, all the society, Wood Duck, I mean, uh, uh, Woodcock Society, I'm getting these letters and they hurt. They hurt bad. Well, y'all did something a little different in virtual that I don't know how bad it's still hurting y'all, but tell us of how that. Well, that so online deal. It was, it was actually really good. So 
keep in mind, you know, CCA Louisiana alone has 32 major fundraisers a year. 25 of them are between March and May. Um, that is where not only our operating funds come from, but also a lot of the money that goes to conservation and the advocacy work and everything that we do. And unfortunately, our mission is not stopping. I mean, right now, in the next month, I'm going to be building a reef at South Tim 51, thanks to Williams Pipeline and, and, and us. Uh, we've got eight other major reef projects going on throughout the year. And we don't want that to stop, but obviously we've got to fund them some way. And, and so just like every other business that's hurting, we're trying to be creative and figure out what, what to do. So um, we had talked about having an online silent auction, which we've done in the past uh, through all the other banquets. So we're, that's kind of in our wheelhouse, but we decided to have a live auction. And I will tell you, uh, it was comical. It was not perfect, uh, but it did raise a lot of money. It helped us uh, kind of... Um, sustained for a couple more months uh, without having events and uh, you know you're gonna do it again I don't know you know we originally said we don't want to put our hand out any more than we have to um, but the response that we've gotten was actually phenomenal and how much fun it was and so you might see it again but part of the re part of the thing is we're trying to kind of keep it in our hip pocket in case there are certain events that don't ever have that don't happen again this year. If we can't reschedule them now, I, I have a tool to do. But you know, look, it's funny if you've been to a CCA banquet over the last 15, 16 years, you've seen me and Charlie Willis do the auctions. We've done I don't know thousand of them probably. Uh, we've never done it two and a half hours apart, and <laughs> it was a challenge. But like I said, a lot of fun and productive. And it allowed us to keep going uh, with our business the way that we need to, because once again, our mission doesn't stop. And, and I will tell you, on the other organizations, they're all in the same boat. Whether you're DU or Delta Waterfowl or the Lay Lake Foundation or any charity, a lot of us were all based on event fundraising. And without them, we've got to be creative. And so what I would encourage you is obviously support us, but support your favorite charities, whether it's just renewing your membership or making a small donation, you, you you have no idea what it means. And look, one of the things that I cannot thank enough is our big corporate sponsors. I mean, people like Hancock, Whitney, Mercury, Nautic Star, Chevron, Shell. If it wasn't for those guys, we would be in a real bind. And almost every one of them said, what do you need? Do you need us to go ahead and, and pay early? And they did it. And so I'm gonna tell you, without without those kind of folks, it wouldn't be possible. The same thing with us, with some of our sponsors, and but and we're trying to help. You know, a lot of these restaurants. <laughs> you know how much my, you know what my reputation is was eating. <laughs> so, and I I tell you what, uh, they they have really been working. Coca Cola, one of our biggest sponsors, are uh, helping pull all these restaurants together. They advertising all over the. All over the I tell newspaper. You, John, and John Miller had a whole lot of fun on the live auction uh, that night, uh, uh, speaking of Coca-Cola. Yeah, I tell you what, Red, is anything new is coming, but and, uh, this has been going on, I mean, 26 years? 26 years. So, no, uh, there is, uh, I hate to say it that way, there is not really anything new this year. We had a handful of things that we thought we were going to change, we thought we were going to expand a couple divisions, um, but unfortunately in the last couple months where we were trying to seal those up, we haven't had the ability. But I will tell you, you're gonna have everything that you've had in the 25th year. Um, it's still over a half a million dollars in prizes. Obviously our tag redfish division, uh, there's 100 tag redfish once again. First one, obviously Chevy Silverado. Second one will be a, a, a travel trailer from Bent's RV. Three through five are, are Nautic Star Mercury boat packages, and six through ten are Gator Tails. Um, but then we all, obviously always will give away more Nautic Stars and Mercuries for the trout division. We've got flounder, we've got bank. You know, one of the things that we keep preaching to everybody is if you fish saltwater, we've got a division for you. Whether young, old, male, female, fish from a bank, kayak, inshore, offshore, we've got it all. And uh, we, we plan to offer all of that once again. Uh, yeah. You can find it on the website. I don't know why I even ask you if you're in something new. It's been so popular, and there's so many people. Last year, we, it was a, a great year. You know, a lot of people caught. How, how many members or people, participants, we have in Star right now on average? On average, we get about twelve to 13,000 anglers. 
Uh, obviously, right now, we haven't really been pushing it because um, we didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, so the full court press is obviously about to start. Um, but, you know, right now we probably have 3,000 signed up and hopefully we'll get up in, into that normal number. You know, who knows? But one thing I will tell everybody is, look, the, the prizes are secured. Our sponsors are great. Um, but look, there might end up being some changes along the way. So obviously we will email everybody that is registered uh, if there are changes, but also please follow us on the website, follow us on, on social media because you know I, I can't control if a weigh station decides it's not safe for them to weigh fish. Or, I, I hope or everybody weigh. watching this, you know, if you've been through all spills, hurricanes, floods, you look around right now, and this is something very unique. It's worldwide and completely different. Y'all been so resilient, and uh, that's what we always talk about Louisiana being, we have caught up being resilient. We were brought up being resilient. Well, that is true, and, and look, you know, CCA's been around for, what, in Louisiana, I think 38 years now. We are resilient. The, the kicker to this thing is it's hit everybody. I don't know anybody that's unaffected by this. You know, whether it was the flood in Central and Ascension, um, you know, the guys on the west and far east sides of the state that year were okay. Oil spill, the coast was much, much worse, but the in inside was okay. You know, hurricanes, kind of the same thing. This has hit everybody, but look, to, to us, one of the things that we decided was the one thing that everybody seems to be very comfortable with and is being encouraged to do is go outside with your family and go have fun. And that's quite frankly the business that we're in when it comes to star. I think they change about being safe. I think from now on, at least for another couple of years, you're gonna see people being socially distant and to a certain degree. But that's almost impossible in Louisiana. Ooh. We are loving people. We love to be with our friends and our family. You know, we're doing it in and uh, we welcome. We welcome everybody in the world to come down here and uh, it, it hurt our tourism oh. bad, and uh, I think we'll get it back. And CCA going to be a one of the ways to prove how successful we can be and, and how much fun still going out on the coast and going fishing is. Absolutely. Look, look but what, what has also been interesting from my standpoint is watching the people that I would have assumed wouldn't be as cautious as they are. But look, I was in Cocodry the other day at... Cajun bait, because uh, they were the only bait shop open. And there was a line drawn of how close you could get. They said, we're not giving exact change. We're gonna, you know, just leave your cash on, on the table. And we never had interaction and it was still comfortable. Um, we all still got our bait. We still could go fishing and have a good time. He and, caught a lot of fish too. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty epic <laughs> uh, a couple days down there. But I will tell you, you know, if, if, if those folks can do it, I think the rest of us can too. And I think you're seeing that across the board. But once again, if a way station, you know, there's a lot of way stations that we have. There's 30 across the state that are run by families, you know, they, and they might not want their kids or grandkids exposed to something or whatever. And so if that's their choice, we're going to have to kind of roll with the punches. And so I ask all the, the participants to, to kind of roll with those punches with us. And, and obviously we will keep you up to date as much as we know, we will let you know. But, uh, you know, we, we didn't want to, you know, one or two little hiccups to stop the tournament from going on. You got to be cool young. Remember when we said that a long time ago? It was hey, you can't do nothing. You can't help at all unless you join. So sign up for the store. When we come back, he can hang around. He knows a little bit about where these fish are right down this month. That our Abu Garcia fishing report. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style. 
for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana and the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fish Report. Rad, I got my stuff here. I've been getting them all week. I got a few pictures, but tell us about your trip to Cocodre and, and uh, where, where y'all been? Give them a hint right now. I know y'all been tagging redfish and putting redfish out. Uh, when y'all starting and when is this going to end? Uh, well, from the tag and redfish standpoint, believe it or not, usually we would be tagging by now. Um, as I've told a handful of people, uh, our tags were caught up in Australian FedEx jail. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, you know, the, they cut flights uh, from Australia into the United States where our tags are made. And so we didn't have them uh, until last Friday. And so we got a new company that, that made them that look exactly the same. And, uh, but we received them Friday, so we're about to go out at, on, on a mad dash mm -hmm. and get them done. Uh, thank goodness I have a ton of volunteers that are willing to help. So we will be doing that. As far as the fishing and coquetry, that was a trout trip. It was nothing but fun. It was kind of our first time our family got out and changed the scenery. Uh, went down with Stephen Babcock and his family, and it was blockbuster. We went on the outside. Um, I think he'd kill me if I told you exactly the spot, but if you can find clean water, uh, they are on the outside. The beaches, the islands, whether it's the Monkey Bars or Wine Island, uh, Last Island, they Both are all live bait and, and uh, Art, uh, live bait and artificial. Uh, you know, most of what we caught was live live bait, but it was easy. You know, um, you know, we I talked to Tommy and El Eric Pellegrin a lot, and they are they're having blockbuster. I mean, April was phenomenal for them. So I think it'll hold on. Um, but truly everywhere we go in the state, I'm hearing the kind of the same reports. Grand Isle has been on fire. I was there uh, this past weekend and it was okay. It wasn't great. Uh, it was beautiful weather. You know, the tides were right. Everything was supposed to work. I will tell you, it was one of those weekends and, and the fishermen know what this What about means. the net? Uh -huh. The gnats weren't bad. There was a good, decent Island. little breeze. Decent breeze. They, so we, they bad in some sort of <laughs> so We didn't have that problem, but everywhere you pulled up, you caught a fish or two. But you just, we couldn't really t get them to turn on, but uh, they were there, they were healthy, and they were big. Um, and, and that transition is finally uh, starting to happen. We started seeing a ton of little fish uh, around the island. Well, my, my report from Grand Isle, most of them come from uh, Buggy Vega and, and Butch and them, but I'm going to tell you, Tommy Vidrain, he, he, every time he gets when it, when it goes, he goes out there, goes in the back, he catches them all. He's still fishing them live pokies, but, uh, but they're catching some few fish on top water. And that, and I, that, caught, I caught right. a few this weekend. It, it was nice. Uh, um, on top water. They, they're there. Like I said, they're there. We, I just never could get them turned on. I know obviously Tommy did, but he, he, he's a lot more skilled than I am. I, I didn't see no monster. Well, Tommy catches a monster trout every now and then on that live bait, but the pictures I was people sending me or telling me about, and then when I used to go down there at my brother's camp, and then we fish this time of year in the surf, you know, when we can, they chunks. They look like a thumpers, we call them, when they hit the, you they're, know, they're, they're good solid. two and a half pounds, boom, boom. <laughs> they thumpers, I like that. It, it's a solid one. You know, look, here, I'll tell you, in the coquetry, it was funny. We're, we're reeling them in, and, and the first day we caught, caught 50 fish in 50 minutes. Uh, yeah. We actually timed it, but what was interesting was I looked at, and Stephen at one point and said, you need to measure that one. That looks a little small. And it was 15 inches. So, well, when they, uh, when when they fish. When they can, the, the guides in, in uh, Venice are doing the same thing. They're running out, you know, not just all them guides I know I talk to over there. And I, you see it on other shows, Kevin's show. And they've been catching fish over there. And uh, they're fishing out there, and they're fishing live bait, and they're also fishing plastic. You know, they're using the Matrix ads. Or any of your favorite, the h and H. The same colors look like they're doing the chore. When you're finding them, and then they're a little bit deeper, but they're catching those fish. 
Another place I get is Delacroix. That's been hit or miss. My good friends, all my, <laughs> my, my, what you call my, my veterans, Tom LeBlanc and all them, uh, Ryan Amy and, and uh, Cesar Garcia. We had all the, gays, the Garcia women with them this last week. And uh, they went out and they caught a bunch of fish. They caught enough to eat. And uh, they would catch them in Delacroix. But uh, they haven't been catching with canals. And when they can get in the lakes or the, the, the few bays, yeah, they're catching fish over there. That's coming. Uh, Rick Bailey, the sheriff's office over there, he's fishing with Lloyd Landry and Delacroix. And uh, Lloyd and them have been yeah. catching. They had 72 beautiful trout last Friday. You don't see them in the boat. So almost a limit between people. Uh, Island Marina, where <laughs> I'm there, I'm getting word all the time. All the, the captains, uh, I, I, I talked to uh, Mike Gallo and I talked to Dudley. And uh, Dudley has not been going to be having, he, he ain't got his boat in him ready. He's getting ready. He, he's been doing crabbing with his son and them, and uh, right. uh, he's still fooling with his soft shell crabs, but Mike Gallo and him making a few trips if people are still coming in. And, uh, and and if you think about all these guides right now that have been good to you during the year, call them up, especially if you're living here. Okay, the only trouble they're having trouble with these corporate sponsors, they're bringing eight and ten people and they're keeping the distance, but they're making it safe for you. And... Uh, Time to go fishing. If you're tired of being inside, be safe. Go on out there and catch some fish. Anywhere you call on the coast. I even got a few reports from Big Lake, and it gets rough. It got a little muddy during them storms, but uh, they're catching fish. They're going back in the other lakes west of them, in the, the West Cove, and them, and they're catching fish over there. Uh, anything else you got? Any reports you heard of saltwater? The fish are biting everywhere. Get out and go I'm sure, now. Uh, Offshore, the tuna bite has been off the charts. Uh, obviously, uh, Amberjack just opened. Um, so, you know, let the fun begin. Obviously, it, it, it's weather dependent, but uh, the fish are there. They're waiting to be caught. Just get out there and be safe about it. You know, that, that's all that we're asking. But from Big Lake to, you know, to Mississippi, everybody is catching fish. I saw Michael Matthews had a great trip at Chandeliers. Uh, this weekend uh, with his son, um, you know, it, Big Lake, Pecan Island, uh, they're, they're catching fish. Uh, Mike and Bill Butler and them, they got fresh shrimp in them. They told me last week that they were going to try to open up May 1st, and uh, you can come on there. They were always going to let you use the landing. They the are, landing's open. I, I talked to Mike. I actually saw Bill yesterday. Um, they were heading offshore with one of my buddies, but they, uh, they are back open, uh, fully functioning to a certain extent, obviously, if the food is to-go orders, um, you know, those kind of things. But they have bait, they have fuel, uh, they're open. And most marinas are back functioning. Once again, like I said, from a star standpoint, it does cause a little bit of interaction, and so we're going to have to kind of work through that. But right now, uh, all of them are open at some level from, from a star way station standpoint. Yeah, you can sign up for star at any of them landings and you and can, but the easiest, by, the easiest way is go to ccastar.com. That way nobody has to interact. Nobody has to touch the same paper. Uh, we have all the mechanisms there to be safe and be entered at the same time. Starting date again. One more time. May 23rd. That is the Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. It's going to last all the way to Labor Day. So get ready, whether you're trout fishing or snapper fishing. Get ready. It's about See, to I start. got a lot of birthdays on, on May 23rd. I got my brother, Skip Bertman. Really? Kevin Ford. They got a bunch of them on that birthday. I remember wow. them guys. Now, fresh water. <laughs> this is tricky. I can't help you there. This is tricky right now. Spillway is high, and historically, you can't fish right now. In the last two weeks, people are catching fish in the spillway. People that are putting in, when they find a landing, they're putting in the landing. Uh, they're using their jump boats, and they're using smaller boats, bass boats, and they're coming back, and they're fishing up against the levee. Now, that's always been good for years. Coach Robinson, when he was at LSU, Bob Scaves used to write about it all the time. From Ramey all the way down, when the water was up on, on the chapel side, up against the levee, they had the yellow flowers. People would wait. You got to be careful, because some of those are private property. You got to have permission. Some of the, you'll see cattle walking on the levee. They don't make sure where you're at. Whatever happens in an Army Corps in there, they, they restrict some of the places you do. Chaffalai Spillway, the levees, 
Mississippi River, the pits in them off the Mississippi River. If you know the places that you're getting, you got permission, you're catching. People are catching in their kayaks, small bateaus, they're being safe. And but I'm gonna tell you what, they're catching catfish you wouldn't believe. But I'm gonna tell you one more time. They're catching fish. They told me not to say nothing, but Joe McLuther had this paper now. I remember doing the same thing. Walking on eleven, walking in a safe place, I had permission, and just walk them. Walk the bank, get out there and wave, or uh, put your warm right now pair of tennis shoes and some, some blue jeans and khaki pants and catch them bass right now. Spinnerbait, Lunkalure. Uh, a friend of mine don't want to give his name because he don't want to tell everybody, but he's been killing them. They've been catching his limit, you know, catching more than a limit, but keeping their limit from Morgan City all the way up to Dry Run fishing the levee. He's going in his boat and, uh, his best bait has been crawfish, you know, fishing regular Texas rig. So that's it. I, I'm here in front of Sacolay, Lake Barrette's another one. The only trouble with Lake Barrette, like I told you last week, some of them landings are closed, the water's up in the parking lot in uh, uh, Tacopal. So when, when you go, find your place to launch. And if you know where you're going to fish, well, you can put it in anywhere if the, if the lake is calm, but that lake can be treacherous right now, especially in April and May of storms. So you don't want to get caught away away. If you do get caught, go to wherever you can to be safe and let somebody you know, go take your car and bring you up. And uh, that's it. All the, the, the lakes up in North Louisiana, all your home, home places, uh, Lake St. John, Lake Concordia, fish are being caught all over. I didn't get no pictures last week, but they're doing it. And still, number one is False River. False River catching bass. Chinkapin are back. The Chinkapin are back in the Northern Flats. My buddies are hammering away in Caney Lake and big fish, really big fish on Caney. So, Caney Lake. Yeah. I, you know, I, I've only been there one time in my life. I got invitations. I, I know this star it, coming. I don't know. I need to get there. Let me just tell you, it's back. It is back. You bass. Know. Now, they got some big Chinkapin in there, too. Big bass. Really big bass. No Sacramento? Few. They don't call them Sacola up there, though. Hey, that's crappy to you. Wear your mask when you have to. Keep saying your prayers for Louisiana and the rest of the world, because this is it. This pandemic is still going on. Don't forget to sign up for the Star and Red. Thank you again for being one of the team members of Paradise, Louisiana. Happy to be. See you next week. Don't forget again. Sign up for the Star. BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.